All right, we're back. <laughs> All right, you know, as we we're just saying, it's this movie's longest fog. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's still really good. I just think there's like either it needed to be written slightly differently or it needed to be cut down. Right. I think a lot of people that's what I've seen cuz there's a lot of shit. Like I remember there's the 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 fucking civil war subplot or whatever. Like there's Loki a lot of things going yeah. on. Yeah. Like right when the civil war subplot starts is when I thought cuz I didn't know how long this was going in. Like, oh. right before that started is when I thought the movie was going to end. And then it goes on for, like, another 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty crazy. I'm I'm curious to check these. I want to go through these because, like, these are types of movies where I feel like everybody's, like, seen shit from them but maybe hasn't seen the full movie because they're so fucking, like, right. iconic. Well, and plus this has, like, the iconic fucking, like, I don't know what you want to call wah, it. Like, wah, wah, wah. Uh, yeah. I don't in wrestling that's called like a sting like this like yeah. noise that starts a song but I don't know if that's a term outside of wrestling to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like how Stone Cold Steve Austin has the fucking glass breaking like oh, that's a yeah, sting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like everybody it's like a thing everybody that, knows yeah. that that fucking Oh my god. Even. Also, I think that's the only thing on the soundtrack because you hear the oh, fucking really? like <laughs> like literally a hundred times during the whole movie it's it, like halfway through you're like dude i'm gonna fucking punch a hole through my tv they only had enough budget for one for one track they just had to make it work <laughs> oh my god and we we watched the like deleted scenes and extras on this movie because we were bored and we but we were not bored enough to start another two-hour movie Yep. Um, and it's crazy with old movies like this. So, like, on the extras on this one, they put, like, uh, text on it instead of narration. Um, and, like, a lot of the reason that they're extras is because the original footage got, like, lost or destroyed. Like, Aww. it's like, now that couldn't happen because everything's on hard drives, unless you're Christopher Nolan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would hope that wouldn't happen. Who's now. recording on, like, film. Yeah. So it actually gets fucking ruined. It's not a thing anymore. It's also crazy. So those big ass like cameras they have to use to shoot in like the specific sixty millimeter IMAX or whatever that only there's like seven theaters yeah. in the fucking country that have, mm. you know. Um. Apparently, those cameras and like the film thing is extremely loud, which yeah. is why his the movies have such bad audio. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, apparently they are fucking loud as shit. But he doesn't like the ADR stuff, so it's right, like yeah. a comp. Yeah, so it's just a bad combo. Yeah, because it's always that's the one thing. Almost every single one of his movies, it's the fucking audio complaint, <laughs> like every time. Right. Oh, this is a I I feel like I've seen the cover for this like a million times. And I haven't watched it yet. It's it was a really popular movie in the beginning of the year. Hmm. All right, Challengers, twenty twenty four, four and a half stars. Damn, I was hooked the entire time. Kind of wanted it to be like two hours longer. Very upset. I missed seeing this in theaters, and I quite possibly may not ever forgive myself. Get fucked, Clatton. Um. Also, I love the <laughs> aging technique of new hairstyle and look of wanting to die because it actually works great. That's probably. I mean, it's probably pretty accurate for most people. Like, the dudes, I swear, actually look like, so they're, like, 17, 18 in part of the movie, and then they're, like, 31 in the other part, yeah. and I'm, like, they actually look kind of older. Oh, uh, is this actually pretty good? But during the young scenes, they look really young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, age, the aging stuff is weird. It's a hard thing to pull off properly. It works good, though, because the one dude who can grow a beard, they just do the easy trick of has no beard, has a beard. Yeah, that always works. <laughs> and the other dude clearly can't grow facial hair, so they just go, he has, like, dyed blonde hair with long hair in the beginning, and then when he's older, he has, like, short-cut natural colored hair. Mm. But, like, he also looks like he wants to die and has bags under his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. That's and the day of... The day is the only one who, like, I don't really believe she's 31 when she's older, but she, like, you know. That's, I get that. 
She's just so beautiful that they can't do it. <laughs> also, this movie, I knew this was like a really horny movie, but like not nearly as horny as I was expecting. <laughs> okay. Oh, not not as okay. Okay, I see. I see. You thought it would. Also, been I think this movie's on HBO Max, so you should watch it. Oh, really? okay. I. Oh no, it's on Amazon Prime. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I was gonna say. I feel like I've seen the cover a few times. Yeah, I'll have to watch. It like just came out on streaming finally because it was in theaters forever because it was oh, okay. made a shit ton of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it seems like it's probably gonna get overlooked at the Oscars. Hmm. I mean, you'll have to see, because, like, I feel like the 2024 movies, there's only so many where I've seen, like, the big buzz, but, like, this is one of them. Right. It at least has, like, the word of mouth, I guess. Oh, my cat just jumped on my PC vents. God damn. Oh, my God. Cats. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, get yeeted, bitch. All right, we're back. <laughs> okay, I saw the TV glow. 2024 restars possibly one of my most anticipated films 2024 try to stay away from spoilers and i mostly just heard non-stop raving about this in the horror world i really just didn't click with this i tried multiple videos explaining this as well as an interview with the director but it just really fell flat about 50 minutes in it still seemed as almost nothing had happened and i was ready for it to amp up but did not get anything i thought was worth all of the build-up why was this one of your most anticipated movies so this is an a24 movie Oh, okay. Um, and as you know, I'm a Reddit addict. All year, I'm in the A24, the horror movie, the Oscars, the movie. Like, I'm in, like, every movie subreddit. Yeah. And you just keep hearing about it randomly. And some people are like, this is the best A24 movie they've ever made. Really? Interesting. And it got a, only yeah. a limited, like, a super, super limited release. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just came out on fucking streaming, and I was just like, oh, I just, I'm glad I didn't pay 20 I was so excited I was about to pay $20 to rent it when it first came to VOD. And then now you're like, ah, oh, good thing I didn't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting that, like, people were hyping it up that much, because I was, I feel like I have not, I didn't even know what the fuck this was. I saw this in your reviews before we did this, and I was like, what is that? (laughs) Yeah, I don't. I was just really excited and just I don't know. Poppy Bob though, he's all about it. <laughs> Poppy Bob likes everything I do, and he also randomly will like a review of mine from like eight months ago. <laughs> it's bored. Like sometimes if you're not, if you stop challenging every day, he's got to like go back, you know. <laughs> but giving, I had, I had the good, I've had the good content. streak. Yeah, there you go, there you go. You're back on it. You're back on it. Giving Poppy Bob play. And I'll probably content. get one more tonight, depending on how long we're. Still stay up oh yeah i'm finishing shrek for sure i don't know about two movies but i gotta finish shrek out so i'm like 26 movies behind right now i think so i have to spend like oh shit. basically okay. one month out of the next three watching two movies a day instead of one boy got a little catch up to do a little bit of catch up yeah we'll see um i moved challengers up to my second best movie of the Damn. year it's just um, on the fucking pop throne. <laughs> yeah, like all these low weeks killed me, dude. Yeah. I even had a zero. I can't believe that. Yeah. It ruined my like eighty three week streak of watching one movie a week. That does kinda that does kinda suck. I still think you can pull it off though. I still I still think the year goal is doable. I bet you in November and December I'll watch like forty movies those months plus. Right. So <laughs> Right. I mean, that's what it'll come down to. This, I mean, I always watch a lot of horror, but this year, lots of horror. <laughs> you kind of, if you want to, like, move up the fucking, the numbers, you kind of no have No spoken to. language? What the fuck is this? A silent? No, there is fucking audio in, what? That's weird. Someone must have trolled with that. Unless I'm misremembering it and nobody talks in that movie, but I'm pretty sure they do. Ah, uh, they probably just trolled. Also, most modern movies I've seen in a year, and I have a lot more I'm going to see. Yep. Also, the most rewatches I've had in a year. It's not that many. No, but usually I don't rewatch movies. Yeah. Shout out Owen Wilson, bro. Between Cars and Wes Anderson, he's up there now. <laughs> Let's go. I hope he stays on top. Um. So I made a list. 
these are all the movies that I have either came out this year or are going to come out that I want to watch before the year ends, and there's apparently, 63 movies alone on this list. Apparently Strange Darling is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's 63 movies to this year, and, like, oh. some of these, like, I know are going to make... Because I listen to so many movie podcasts, which is why I know that... I, or at least I have an idea of what movies... So there's a bunch of movies that nobody is going to watch besides, like, people who go to film festivals or, like, updated on shit. Mm. Like, this is going to be nominated for Oscars. Yeah. And, um... Oh, those two covers are so similar. It's distracting. Monkey Man and the First Omen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, like, the same damn thing. This is going to be nominated for Oscars. This is um the favorite right now to like win like a shit ton of Scroll stuff, and I've never even heard of it. Scrolls over Borderlands. This is going to be nominated for Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, this is going to be nominated for Oscars. Oh shit! It's almost got this joke might time. not even come out this year, so we don't know yet. Um, this movie is supposedly amazing, but also doesn't have a release date yet, even though it says 2024. Oh shit, Gladiator 2, you know you're gonna have to chow that. This is one of those movies that people, they, so this hasn't even played at film festivals, but it comes out in like a month and a half. Hmm. So people are like, we don't know yet if this is like an, actually good or not. <laughs> I hope it's good. I hope it's at least entertaining. This is the Bob Dylan biopic starring oh, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a, oh, this I think is going to get nominated for at least an Oscar, it sounds like. And then there's like a lot of these are just my shitty horror movies that I want to see, like Smile 2. Uh, dude, Smile I've never seen slap. a Venom movie, I but this trailer makes me need to see them. Okay. I haven't seen the trailer for Oh, the this one. is probably going to get nominated. This is probably going to get nominated. This is probably going to get nominated. Some of these, like this is a documentary. Okay. This is a documentary. This is a documentary. So some of these are like in their own category. Documentary. No, this is a biopic, not documentary. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, we'll see. I just want to go into the Oscars this year knowing I've seen all the movies. Yeah, it'd be impressive if you actually went through all these. This is like a outside chance Nicole Kidman movie that's apparently pretty horny. <laughs> okay. Sold. This movie is supposed to be amazing, and it's in theaters right now. That's yeah. I was gonna say that one. That one looked familiar. I feel like I've heard some shit about that. This is maybe gonna get nomination. Shout out, fucking. This one has a chance in international. So we'll see. This is a documentary, I think. This is a documentary. They shout out Adam Driver on that on that terrible cover on the bottom left. Oh, Megalopolis. Yeah. This movie, yeah, I feel like this has got to be bad. I feel like this is going to be ass. Which is crazy, because this costed so much money and took so long to make, but it's going to be terrible, that probably. cast is kind of crazy. It's probably still going to be ass. Mm -hmm. Grace Vanderwall is in this? She, she's not, is this their first movie? She's really a not. fucking singer. She won uh, America's Got Talent, I believe. Oh, okay. But, alright, we can switch over now. Alright, Jared. Fuck your movies, bro. It's dull time. <laughs>